Good morning, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today. Sun, moon, rising Sagittarians. Past, present, future. Love and relationships. Although career can come into this a little bit. You know, if you love your job or, you know, you're in a highly emotionally charged situation and the need for change. This is, you know, anything that's uppermost in your mind and heart at the moment that's affecting your feelings. Here we go. Past, present, future for the sign of Sagittarius. <laughs> One more shuffle. Ten of Pentacles in the past. Wow. Four of Wands. A lot of thought in the near future. The death card in the past. Ace of Pentacles and the moon card going forward. What are you stressing about, Sag? There's something here that you're not forgiving yourself for. You know, whether you think you're right or you're wrong, there's the old cliche, it takes two to tango. But whatever's happened in the past, you need to forgive yourself. But I am forgetting, I am forgetting, I am getting that. Also, there is a forgiveness going forward for some of you about what's happened. But it's... There's a lot of stress, a lot of stress. The past, something came to a conclusion very quickly. Your circumstances changed. Now, this could mean a lot of things, depending on your situation. This could have mean a settlement for a divorce that dragged out a long, long time. And for a lot of you, whatever this connection was to you whether it was marriage or just a long-term love connection or just a long-term association where there was a lot of feelings i'm picking up anywhere up to 10 years and a huge transformation in you and the person you're dealing with and the situation went through a lot of changes but what it did was make you stronger now i am getting that now the past is still around you but you're you're in a situation where that you consider long term, but it's making peace with the past also. And with this Ace of Pentacles, there's actually a practical opportunity to bring everything to a head. So for some of you, there's a lot of good news about this because it's feeling comfortable with the past. It's bringing stability. Slowly but surely, no more of these washing machine feeling, no more looking over your shoulder. You know, it's it's kind of a focal point. It's kind of where there's a point in time, a fixed point in time, where everything comes together, the past, the present, and decisions on the future all come to one point. And obviously with this, there must be a decision. So it's no wonder you're distressed because this is lifestyle changes as well. For some of you, you could even be going back to a past connection. Not all of you. You know, you're a Sagittarius, you like to look forward, you don't you don't like hanging on to the past. But there was something about this situation, something about this person that kind of kept you in limbo for a long, long time. And no matter how you tried, you know, it, it just wouldn't go away. I'm even getting a lot of you just discontinued conversation. You tried talking, you tried not speaking, you tried ignoring, you tried blocking, but it just would not go away. There was always that piece of you that was calling you back to the past to, to settle things once and for all either way. But that's what this is all about. This is what this focal point's all about. I'm kind of getting your perspective is changing, hence the stress.
You're realising now that you need to be at peace with yourself. I'm kind of getting your guards up a little bit. And for a lot of you, the situation that you're in now due to the decisions you made in the past, you're not even sure if that's right for you. For some of you, there is a decision you made in the past that you do regret. You wish things could have been different. There's relocation here for some of you. Always with the four of ones, I'm picking up a change of residence. You know, you th some of you are even thinking about moving country. Certainly moving house, relocating. If this is a marriage, you know, you moving out, becoming independent... I'm kind of getting that, you know, you regret you stayed where you were for so long. But I feel there is new fives to me in tarot all about changes, changes in lifestyle and coming to terms with the past. But just giving yourself time. There is a fear factor here for some of you because you are kind of walking into the unknown. But I'm getting that this past person is still around you and it's an unknown quantity. There is a fear about you reconnecting with this person. Your intuition is screaming at you. Now, either you're ignoring it or you're too wrapped up in your thoughts and emotions to kind of listen to it. You know, but past regrets... Because you're still hanging on to that, you're being, you know, it's a, for you, it's a time of caution. You know, for a lot of you, there was even physical distance here, and it just wasn't practical. This person could only visit you on holidays, you only spent a certain amount of time together. But either way, you ended something in the past or it finished because of circumstances. They changed. Your desires and your ambitions lay elsewhere or you thought they did. I'm kind of getting with this a bit. For one or two of you, you thought the grass was greener. But now you've... It's, you know, there's a big difference between wanting and having. And for some of you, now you've got this, where you thought the grass was greener, you, you're beginning to realise the grass is not greener. It's just a different person, a different set of circumstances. But life's troubles, you know, emotional troubles, you carry forward. You can't run away from yourself. It's not possible. And perhaps you thought in the past, like so many people do, you thought if you changed the situation, went went with somebody new, it would solve all your problems. But for some of you now, you're beginning to realise that it hasn't solved the problems because you're still carrying this. You're realising now that, you know, you've got to forgive yourself. You know, in the past there was the blame game, not my fault, their fault, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Truth always lies in the middle. You know, there's your perspective, their perspective. Truth is always in the middle. But I feel a lot of you are realising this, you know, and it's just not worth playing the blame game anymore. <clears throat> For you at the moment, it's all about acceptance and this this need to forgive yourself. When you forgive yourself, that's when your conscience will clear. But, yeah, there's a lot of stress over distance, relocation here, and doing the right thing. Again, I repeat, you thought the grass was greener, or they thought the grass was greener. Whichever way round it is a general reading, but somebody here has regrets about a choice they made in the past, a big one. But it's kind of like they want to keep it to themselves. Don't want to admit it. 
there's some shame here. There's somebody here feeling ashamed. Now, whether this is you or them, I'm not sure. But there is somebody here who is ashamed of their actions. I'm going to leave it there, Saj. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.